An alloy is a mixture of elements with at least one metal formed by cooling the molten mixture. The mixture is usually used in the solid state of matter and always has at least some of the properties of metals. Here are a few examples of alloys. Brass is a mixture of copper and zinc used historically at least for shell casings. Bronze is a mixture of copper and tin and German silver somewhat ironically contains no silver. It does contain however copper, nickel, and zinc. In substitutional alloys the different types of atoms are about the same size. So you can see on the right here this is a model of a substitutional alloy. The less numerous atoms of the one type substitute for, that is they replace, some atoms of the more numerous type. Some of the one type of atom are taken out and some of the other type are inserted in their place. In an interstitial alloy the different types of atoms are not the same size. Here might be a model of an interstitial alloy where atoms of one type fit into the so-called interstitial spaces in the crystal of the primary component. In an interstitial alloy, no substituting takes place. The secondary component atoms fit in between the primary component atoms. Let's predict which type of alloy tends to be more rigid than the primary metal constituent. And that would be an interstitial alloy. You can imagine if we're trying to, in the upper right corner here, slide some of these atoms, let's say, to the right. Do you see how these little atoms here that are in the interstitial spaces tend to make it difficult to slide those red atoms to the right? Interstitial alloys tend to be more rigid than the primary metal constituent. Which type of alloy would probably have nearby metal atoms as a secondary constituent? And when I say nearby, I'm talking about on the periodic table. Metal atoms that are nearby the primary constituent atoms are going to be about the same size. We would predict a substitutional alloy. How about the type of alloy that tends to have non-metal atoms like carbon as a secondary constituent? Think about the size of a carbon atom compared to the size of your typical metal atom. If you look at the periodic table, carbon is very much smaller. We would predict that this would be an interstitial alloy. And finally, which type of alloy tends to maintain the ductility of the primary constituent? That's kind of the opposite of this first one that we looked at. We predicted that an interstitial alloy would be more rigid than the primary metal constituent. A substitutional alloy tends to have about the same ductility as the primary constituent. Stainless steel is both a substitutional and interstitial alloy. The primary metal is iron with carbon atoms occupying some of the interstitial spaces between iron atoms. Typically, stainless steel contains chromium and nickel atoms that substitute into the crystal structure of the iron.